President Park Geun-hye announced yesterday that regarding the Korea-China free trade agreement, she would closely communicate with farmers and minimize any negative impact on in the agricultural sector. 박근혜 대통령은 어제 한중 자유 무역 협정 타결과 관련해 농업인과 긴밀히 소통하며 농업 분야 피해를 최소화할 것이라고 밝혔습니다. The Korean School Temporary Workers Union will hold a general strike today and tomorrow to call for lesser discrimination against temporary workers in schools. 전국 학교 비정규직 연대 회의가 학교 비정규직 차별 해소를 요구하며 오늘과 내일 양일간 총파업에 들어갑니다. The largest to date voice phishing organization which was run by, by a former police officer with extensive experience in investigating cyber crime was busted. 사이버 수사 경험이 풍부한 전직 경찰관이 총책을 맡고 있는 사상 최대 규모 보이스 피싱 조직이 적발됐습니다. The United States National Weather Service reported that the country experienced the coldest day and heaviest snowfall in 38 years on November 18th local time with four people reported dead in New York State. 미국 기상 당국은 현지 시간으로 18일 38년 만에 기록적인 11월 한파와 폭설이 미국 전역을 강타해 뉴욕 주에서 네 명이 사망했다고 밝혔습니다. The National Institute of Environmental Research announced yesterday that the strength of electromagnetic waves within the Seoul Metropolitan Subway System is within the limits considered safe for human bodies. 국립환경과학원은 수도권 지하철 전동차 내부 전자파의 세기가 인체에 안전한 수준이라고 어제 밝혔습니다. A Hanok Library has been recently built on the slopes of Inwang Mountain. The library, situated just northwest of Gyeongbok Palace, has taken the name Cheongwon Literature Library. As its name suggests, its raison d'etre is to foster literature having more than 8,000 editions of poems, novels, and essays. The collection is expected to be expanded up to 20,000 books. In a development that would do sci-fi writers proud, researchers recently discovered a way to increase memory recollection and brain function. A certain molecule called FXR1P inhibits the creation of molecules needed to make new memories. Removing it from the brains of mice culminated in improved memory. In short, improving a person's memory could be as simple as removing a problematic molecule.